Oh, it's empty. I guess I'll have to throw it in the trash. Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library. To celebrate Earth Day, I have a silly story to share with you about recycling. What is recycling? Well, recycling is taking something that would be thrown in the trash, like this milk jug, and turning it into another item. Maybe you recycle at home by sorting out your plastic bottles, like this milk jug, for a special garbage collection. But have you ever wondered what happens to these bottles after they leave your home? Well, you can find out in this silly story, Milk and Juice, a Recycling Romance. Milk and Juice get separated to go to the recycling center. Well, what happens to them? And will they ever find each other again? Well, we'll have to find out. And we'll also play a little game, and I'll show you how you can turn milk, like from this jug, into a type of natural plastic to make this cool earth just like this. But first, let's get started with the story, Milk and Juice, A Recycling Romance. Milk and Juice, A Recycling Romance. Written and illustrated by Meredith Crandall Brown, published by HarperCollins Books. Once upon a time, in a refrigerator not too far away, a jug of milk and a bottle of juice fell in love. My milk! My juice! They enjoyed daily adventures. My milk, you look stunning without your cap and kept each other cold through long nights. Then, one day, Juice was taken away. My milk, they say I am done. This cruel hand of fate has ripped us apart, but I will be back. Juice? Milk! All went dark for juice, and when it awoke, pop! Everything had changed. My milk, my true love, where are you? Milk! I'm goat milk. Milk was nowhere to be found. The cruel hand of fate kept returning. Juice kept changing and milk remained missing. Milk? Pop! Milk? Crunch! Milk? Bam! Eventually, Juice found itself in a basement. I am trapped in the deep, dark dungeon of my aching, heartbroken soul. My only friend, the stick of stain remover. Hi! Even you cannot remove the gloom from my heart. For my milk, my one and only true love, is lost to me forever. Meanwhile, around the planet, Milk searched for juice. Juice! Hugo? Suka? Ju? Out of the dungeon, but once again in a bin, Juice fell into despair. My milk, without you, I am truly and forever done. Take me, cruel hand of fate, take me away. All went dark for Juice. 
And when it awoke, pop! Milk? Juice? I found you! Milk and juice were together at last. Or were they? For darkness once again approached. No, not the darkness. Stand back, cruel hand of fate, for I am juice and I want my milk. Fate did not answer, but some stars appeared. I'm still here, juice. Darkness came and went, but milk and juice were never again torn apart. They lived happily ever after, forever and ever. My milk, my juice. The end. Wait, the end? I feel deep down in my molecules that I'm destined to become a toy pickup truck. How will you become a pickup truck? It will happen like this. First, I'll need a shower, then, don't look, crunch. I'll get flattened. I'm okay. Next, I'll go in the bin to get collected and sent to a recycling plant. At the recycling plant, I'll get shredded, I'm okay, boxed up, and shipped to another plastics recycling plant. Hey, I'm on the boat. The hands of fate will heat me up in a rotating screw until I become a liquid. Then they will squirt me into a mold. Where I will harden and be assembled into my destiny. A pickup truck. Wow, that's amazing. I feel like it's my destiny to drive you. Does anyone have some googly eyes? Thanks. Let's go. The end. That was a silly story, but it really made me think about all the plastic that we use every day and what happens to it when we no longer need it. How much plastic do you think that you have in your house right now? Let's take a minute or two to play a quick game and go on a plastic scavenger hunt. Now first, choose a room in your house and make a quick prediction or guess. How many items made of plastic do you think that you have in that room? Now write this number down. Then take a minute or two to go on a hunt. Take a look around your room. And there's no need to look in drawers, just see what you can see and count how many items that you see that are made of plastic. What will you find? Maybe plastic toys, plastic containers, or even plastic straws. Take a look around and count each item that you find. What number did you come up with? How close was your guess? Did you find more or less things made of plastic in the room? I know that when I did this, I found way more items of plastic than I thought I had. And I didn't even count everything. I wonder how many you'll find. Try it and find out. Every day, we use so many items made out of plastic, it's really hard to count the number. So, Let's just think about one thing that we use, such as a plastic milk container. Now, most of us drink milk because it's healthy for us. Did you know that there's over 25 billion, with a B, billion gallons of milk made each year? So that's 72 gallons of milk for each person each year. Now, that's a lot of plastic milk gallons. Now imagine if we didn't recycle. All of those bottles would just go into garbage landfills, which is very bad for our planet Earth because this plastic is not a natural substance. 
So thankfully, we can recycle some plastics into other things like park benches from the story or even into toys that we use and so much more. And if you're wondering what plastics can be recycled, look at the bottom of the container for a triangle symbol like this with a number right in the middle. Now plastic items with the number one or two can safely be recycled. I'll include a list of items that can be recycled in our area in the description box below. What if I told you that you could turn milk into a special type of natural plastic? It's easy to do and it's also pretty cool. Now years ago, people used to make buttons and jewelry out of this type of plastic. Pretty neat, right? Well, I made this cool plastic earth out of milk and I'll show you how you can do it too. Uh, now this type of natural plastic is biodegradable, which means that you could throw it in the trash and it won't take up space in the landfill for years to come like other plastics. I'll show you how easy it is to make and let's begin. Here's what you'll need. You'll need an adult helper, one cup of milk, four teaspoons of vinegar, a microwave or stove top to warm up the milk, a spoon, a bowl or mug to mix everything together, several paper towels, and optional, you might want a small cookie cutter, some food coloring or markers, a strainer, or a toothpick if you wanna poke a hole to make a charm or bead in your design. First, you're going to do is measure one cup of milk into a microwave safe bowl or warm it up on a stove top. Now the milk does not need to boil, just warm it to almost steaming. And the time will depend on your microwave power and the temperature of milk. So if it's really cold milk, it might take a little bit longer. So maybe 30 to 90 seconds at most in the microwave. Then you're going to add four teaspoons of vinegar and slowly stir for about a minute. Now during this time, you're going to see a cool transformation happen right before your eyes. The milk will be changing to curds. As you stir, the small white globs will start to form. This is what you want to see. And then once you've done that, you'll want to remove the white curds from the liquid. And you can do that either by spooning them out of the bowl onto a paper towel lined plate, or you can use a paper towel lined strainer and just pour all the liquid into the strainer. It's up to you. Now you're going to squeeze the curds together and you'll notice some of the liquid will, will come out and then pat dry. Pat with several paper towels. You want to try to get the liquid out of the curds as much as possible. Now optional, if your mixture is a little bit too crumbly, my first batch was, you might wish to let it sit in a bowl of vinegar for about an hour or so and then pat it dry again. This will help to firm it up, but you don't have to do that. That's just optional. Now it's time to mold your milk. You can choose to mix some food coloring into the curds, whatever color you wish, or you can leave it white to decorate later with paint or markers. Now to make the earth, I used a little bit of blue and a drop of green food coloring into two different piles of curds. Then I mixed them together, the crumbles together, and I smushed them like I was making a Play-Doh patty. Then I looked around for something to make the round shape. And you never guess what I used? The top of the milk jug. It was the perfect size to make the round earth. And then once I've done that, I popped it out and I put it on a paper plate. Now this is the hard part. It's going to need to take at least 24 hours or maybe even two days to dry. And you might even want to flip the piece over halfway through so that it dries on both sides. 
And by then, when it's all dried, you'll get a cool looking uh, piece of plastic just like this. Now, if you decided not to use food coloring, it would come out just like this. And then you could decorate it with a marker, like I put a little heart on it right here. It's entirely up to you. Or you might choose to use a small cookie cutter to make all different kinds of cool shapes. Or you might try rolling it up and making it like a bead and poking a hole in it with a toothpick. It's entirely up to you. These directions and a short video demonstrating all the steps will be in the description box below. You might be wondering, what is the science behind it? Well, the casein proteins in the milk do not mix with the acid of the vinegar, so the casein in the fat in the milk forms the blobs that you see when you're stirring it together. This hardens when it's dry and becomes a natural type of plastic. Pretty cool, huh? I hope you try it out for yourself, and I hope you make something cool. Hope you had fun, hope you keep exploring, and we'll see you next time. Bye!